Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, you're a Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Silverado Valley. Let's check out this model. So, this one right here, this is the Nora. It's 2,704 square feet, four bed, three bath, and it starts at 432,990. Now what's cool about this community is it's basically gonna be a bunch of cul-de-sacs. Those are actually the other side of the community. They're gonna be a different style home. You can see they're gonna be these little short cul-de-sacs, which is kind of cool. Now, do me a huge, huge favor. If you're liking these videos, I try to put them out just about every single day. Hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Like I said, about seven to 10 videos a week. This one might be a little tricky with uh, Thanksgiving, but by the way, I hope everyone is having a great Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving week. Depends on when this video gets posted. But so this is gonna be a little bit higher elevation since it has all of the stonework. What's cool is you will get all of these pavers. Really like the fact about this. Now, if you have any questions, all of my info is down in the description below. Do yourself a huge favor if you are looking at new construction, you're thinking you wanna buy a new home, definitely call a realtor. Don't fill out things online. Don't go to the sales office and talk to the associates because the builder will not let you be represented. So if you have questions about that, again, all my info is down in the description below, but check out the ceilings in here. Really, really cool. Before we get into the living space, let's head over here. We'll head upstairs and check everything out. So nice thing about this one, there's actually a bedroom downstairs and it's a smaller bedroom. It's probably 10 by 11, if I had to guess. That's a full-size bed. There's two nightstands. You get a pre-wire cap. That's gonna be for your ceiling fan and or light or chandelier, but it's already pre-wired, so you could just get the fixture and then mount it. You do get the night or um, dresser, but it is a little bit smaller. If you saw my video with the other model in here, the Elliot, the bedrooms were huge. There's a really nice big window. And they always put plants in the bedroom, which I find so funny. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you have big plants in the bedrooms? I see it in the models. I hardly ever see it in anyone's home. So it's kind of amusing, at least for me. Not a bad bedroom by any means, but it is a little tight and a very nice size walk-in closet. I'm surprised, and this is just me, they didn't do like the standard closet right here. It would have been tiny, but you would have got another foot of actual bedroom space. Now with this home, basically what you see is what you get. There are a few options in here. The flooring's an option. The mini blinds are gonna be an option or the uh, wood blinds are gonna be an option and the backsplash in the kitchen will be an option. So probably about 22, 25,000, maybe around that 25,000 um, mark for options in here. Now, this is interesting too. This is a huge vanity. I'm surprised they didn't put two sinks in it just because this is gonna be a shared bathroom for the downstairs and for that bedroom. But whatever option you pick as far as cabinetry, they're gonna put it throughout the house in all of the bathrooms. They just have the bumpers. You get your toilet. And what's awesome, when they do those downstairs full bathrooms, they do just a shower. In case you have a parent or someone who can't step over the uh, tub lip. And there's tons of shampoo storage areas. I know sometimes when they put the tubs in, there's just flat. Let you know, this is a fiberglass composite tub. So it's a, uh, here I'll just knock on it so you can hear. So it's a composite material or shower. I really like these floors, this option. Pretty nice. And what's cool, the front door is literally right here. It is really open and I like this entry. I know sometimes they have a really narrow hallway or sometimes you basically step out right into the house. So kind of a cool layout. Again, let's head upstairs. Like I said before, if you have any questions regarding anything you see in the videos, give me a call. All of my info is down in the description below. I'd love to help you out in any way possible. Wow, this loft is big. So again, another pre-wire cap up in the ceiling for your fixtures, but check out the size of this loft. It's, 
it's nice size. I'd say 15 by 13 maybe, just guessing. Really big window over there. And just want everyone to see. This is a really, really nice size loft. So let's check out this room first. And the nice thing about these upstairs bedrooms is this entire upstairs is nine feet. So it makes everything even feel bigger. Good size, healthy size bedroom. Sorry about that sun flare. King si or full size bed, two decent sized nightstands. Nice big walk-in closet. And they have a dresser. So you could easily throw a desk in here. It's probably 10 by, well, I'm gonna say 11 by 12 is the size of this bedroom. Again, don't hold me to that. I'm just guesstimating. I know a lot of people always like to ask how big rooms are just because it's always really difficult to tell depth on camera, especially with the wide angle. So good size closet. What I would do with this bar is move it up and get a double bar and shelf just to add even more space, but pretty nice as far as a walk-in for a secondary bedroom. Coming across, we have some storage, both lower and upper, and then the, uh, I guess this would be the third bedroom. Again, it feels very same size as the last one, probably 12 by, and I'm gonna assume these are 11 by 12 or 10 by 12. So you have double nightstands, full size bed. Again, you could easily throw a, um, a desk on one side and have a little bit smaller nightstand. And then again, sorry with the sun flare, it's getting late out here and it gets dark so early now. There's even a bench and a little dresser. Let me just come on over here so you can see it from this way without all that sun, how big this room is. Cool wakeboarder room, even with the uh, kite surfing. Coming into this closet, it's, it's very similar in size to that last one, maybe just a tiny bit bigger, but again, a very, good size closet for a secondary bedroom. Let's head across the way. Before we do that, here is the upstairs bathroom. So, oh, again, what's cool about this, there's a door here, and then there's even a door right here. So you can use the sinks while someone's taking a shower. This is a big bathroom right here. A lot of space, it's really pushed back how far that vanity is. So there's two medicine cabinets on each side. You get the undermounted sinks and again, this is all standard up here. The only thing that's not is gonna be that flooring coming in to the toilet area and you have your tub shower combo. So let me just move this over so you can see. So there's your shower head, your fixtures, and again, same thing, fiberglass composite material. This is what I was saying. I wish there was just the cubby hole right here so you can add some more soaps and shampoos, but you do have the ledge. You may just need to get a little shower caddy for that kind of stuff. But overall, I'm impressed with these homes. This is the second one I've walked in. They have two more, including a next gen in the community. If you don't know what that is, definitely hit the notification bell so you can see that one because those next gens are really, really cool. It's basically an apartment inside the house. So really good size laundry room. So you get that whole folding area. There's not a sink option, unfortunately, and I do not know if the washer dryer included. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't, depends on the community, and you get that uh, shelf up there. But overall, this is a big laundry room. I wish mine was this big and had that whole folding area. That would make life so much easier. And coming into the master. So, French door entry. Really good size. This is big. It's a king size bed. There's a good amount of glass in here. So you have the sliders, you have those two windows. Again, like I said, in the other bedrooms, you have the pre-wire cap for the fixture. And there's that sitting area and a big dresser, TV stand you could do there. Very nice. If I didn't mention before, we're over here, kind of on the west side of town, southwest, west. That is the South Point Casino. So we're just west of the 15. The 15 is literally right in front of that casino. And a nice patio covering underneath and good size balcony. I can't go out there, they lock them since there's no sales associates here anymore. But 
I'm liking this model. Coming in to the master bath. Let's see if there's some lights in here. There we go. So right here you have your toilet area. Really, really a lot of counter space in here for the vanities. So again, same cabinetry, same vanities. It's gonna be the undermounted sink again. You even have the makeup area with bench or chair and another vanity. Now here you have your separate tub shower. There's a lot of glass in this house. I like that they frosted these ones so you don't have any peekaboos. And I don't know, don't quote me on it. With this builder, Lennar, sometimes they have an option where you can do stone. It's gonna be the same stone right here as in the bathroom as an optional upgrade. I don't know what this one, this community is brand, brand new. Coming into the closet and oh my, it's large. So it goes all the way behind the door, even behind, behind. It's, there's a lot of closet space in here. And all the way around back and even over the corner. This is a big closet. This is really nice how much storage you have in here. Let's go ahead and head on downstairs. See that kitchen, living, dining. Again, like I said before, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to answer anything you have. Even if you wanna see a new home, resale, anything in between, give me a call. Now we are coming downstairs. Feels a little dark in here just because the sun's gonna be behind us again. You could do a ceiling fan and light in there. It doesn't look like they have all the floor lamps on it, which may be, but check out your dining space and kitchen. That's a nice kitchen. This is nice. So let me just pan around real quick so you can see the living. This is a big open area. Across the way you have your dining space. I feel like this just needs to be cinched this way about six inches, but I get why they want people to walk around. And you have your access to the backyard. I think we might actually be able to, nope, they took the lock off. So you will get the covered patio and basically you will get pavers right up to there. Everything else, and it's big. Let me see if you can see out there. It's a good sized backyard. There's even a pergola out there. So when you buy new construction, everything is going to be dirt. So to complete this backyard, they probably put about 15, maybe a little bit more thousand into it. So definitely keep that in mind when buying new. And we get to the kitchen. So right out, this is your garage door. It's kind of nice, you walk right here into the kitchen. You know what, before we get in there, I'm sure there's gonna be a coat closet right here and it's gonna go underneath the stairs, which is even better so that you have more storage. Pretty good size, you get your shelf and bar right there. But check out this kitchen. So again, like I said in the other video, the other model had this countertop. This is my favorite countertop. I love the gray or the white with the gray vein. Let me know what you like. Do you like this? Do you like the other offerings they have in some of my other videos? You have four benches right there. Really healthy size island. There's a lot of counter space in here. Let's start over here and work our way back, actually. Take you on the roundabout tour today. So big, big lawn, or uh, pantry. Not as big as the other one. Again, I'll have a link to it down in the description below. But very, very nice size pantry. You can see there's plenty of cabinetry, plenty of counter space in here. What's cool is there's even a phone jack right there if you still use a landline, so. They got you covered. There's even outlets for the USB. So right here we get stainless steel appliances all around. Here's your dishwasher, more cabinetry there. And there was other cabinets on this side as well. So there is a lot of cabinet space in here, a lot of storage. Here is your stainless steel undermounted sink. Let me just show you your view. When you're loading up the dishwasher or doing the dishes, that little guy right there, that is your reverse osmosis filter. So Basically, uh, filtered water comes out of that. That's base, uh, bottle quality, water bottle quality. There's some filters underneath the sink that do that for you. You have your stainless steel fridge. They did the 42 inch uppers all around. And 
that has a foot right there because these are nine foot ceilings in here. Again, like I mentioned before, the backsplash is an option. So not many options available with this community. You have your stainless steel five burner cooktop, stove, a stove and oven. I know a lot of people are gonna wish that they had double ovens here. Unfortunately, that is not one of the options. You have your microwave and what's cool is they vent that outside. It's not recirculating around. Overall, I would love to hear what you have to say about this model. I'm kind of a fan. I really, really like this downstairs area. Plus that loft upstairs is pretty cool too. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Again, if you have questions about this or any other model, give me a call. Love to help you out in any way possible. If you are new, consider subscribing. I try to put out at least seven videos a week. I'm trying to hit 10 a week, but we'll see with Thanksgiving coming up. And as always, Thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.